Hey guys, welcome back to the Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis, and today we're gonna to do something fun and different. We're gonna 3D print our own homemade DIY model rocket, and we're gonna take it out and launch it in this video. By the end of the video, we're gonna do something really, really fun. So stick around because I'm new to 3D printing, and what you see here today is what you might expect if you get your first 3D printer. Now, I got a really nice little desktop 3D printer sitting right next to me right here. This is the Creality CR8. It's a two-in-one 3D printer and laser engraver, but you can do some really cool DIY home projects with this. This would be a lot of fun for educational use or for doing something with your kid that you have never done before. This is really neat. They could tell all their friends about this at school and they could take this out and have a lot of fun with it. Now you don't wanna do any of this without parental supervision, of course. If you're under 18, make sure you have a legal guardian with you to assist you in any type of project like this for school or hobby use. I'll show you the various projects that I did with mine my CR8 did pretty good. I think I could probably do a little better with some of my prints. I had quite a bit of cleanup, but I'm also a new guy, so look at my own mistakes and see what you might be able to correct yourself as a new 3D printer owner. So I'll show you a little bit about the CR8, and then we'll show you some of the various projects that I did with mine, and then we'll show you the cool model rocket that we built, and we'll take you out to the launch pad, and we'll get this thing airborne. We also put a little FPV camera on here to record our model rocket flight. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started with the CR8. Now when you open the box of this 3D printer, go ahead and get the SD card out and go ahead and copy all the files on the SD card over to your computer. Next, if you're doing laser printing with this, make sure you wear the glasses that came with it because this laser is very dangerous. It will damage your eyes. And it just snaps on the side of the printer just like this. It has a little barrel connector that connects in the back very easy. You get three pieces of plywood with it to test it out. You can do some pretty cool and amazing engravings with this on wood. You also get some masking tape for putting on the bed. This is going to keep your 3D prints from sticking to the bed. And this is your all-in-one reader. You also get a piece of Bowen tube. This is an extra piece that comes along with it. You get the materials list, a USB cable, and you get some tools for working on it. A pair of snips. Use your snips to snip off the end of the filament before you put it into the printer. You can see right here it goes through. This is the service card, the instruction manual, and the instruction manual was okay. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but I got through it. And this is what you're gonna use. This is the scraper to get your prints off the bed without damaging your print. Now go to thingiverse.com. This is the site where you're gonna find all the different models for free. The first model that we're gonna to print today is gonna to be the Fox, and this is a low poly Fox. I like this one mainly because it shows a lot of different facets and edges on it, so it shows the print quality quite well on a 3D printer. Now I have it here inside a program called Simplify 3D, and this just lets me make some changes in the 3D printer settings for the heat on the bed, which type of filament I'm using, and it also shows me how long the print's gonna take, and it shows me the process, which is neat. Save that file on your SD card and put it inside of the printer and you're gonna go ahead through the menus and you're gonna start your first print here. And this is my first print on the printer. This is the Fox after, I guess, about 20 minutes time. And the nice thing about this, it has a rubber belt drive on here. So some of them come with plastic belt drives, which is not so great. This one is a little bit higher quality. You can see there it's 25% done. And now I just have to wait for my low poly Fox to print up. And it seems to be doing a nice little kind of honeycomb shape on the inside. It doesn't do a total infill. If you want to set that up to be a solid object, it'll take a lot longer to print. If you do something like a 20% infill, it'll print much faster. And you do see a little bit of sort of hairs on top of the ears coming, stringing back and forth across. But this is my CR8 print of the Flow Poly Fox here. And I have some other examples here for you. The next one I have over is from what we call the E10 printer, the ANET E10. And this one is not so great like the CR8. I feel like this one had some more banding. You can have to see some issues on that one. Now the next one over, this is the CR10. Now this is my favorite printer and probably the best printer in the lineup that I'm showing here today. Now this is pretty nice on the back side. You can see there's not a lot of banding and not a lot of bumps on this one. The next one in the lineup is probably the lowest grade 3D printer I've had, and this one's called the E3 Nano. It's only about $100, so you get what you pay for, really. But the CR8 does really extremely well, and the CR10, I think, probably the two of the best out of the four that I've tested so far. 
Now my next project was the Star Wars Millennium Falcon and I was really excited about this. I'm going to print it in PLA and I'm going to do it fast so that it prints a little faster. I'm using, I think it was a 20% infill as well. Don't make your objects solid because it will take a long time to print. This one's going to take an hour and 48 minutes. Now I also suggest if you're first getting into 3D printing to use the raft on the bottom of your prints. You're just going to get a much more solid connection to the bed and it's likely not going to pop off. You can see here that I used the raft on the very bottom and look how stable this is. It's very precise and really nice and I'm really excited about this one because I decided that I'm going to take my Millennium Falcon and make a Christmas ornament out of it. Yes, I'm very excited about that Star Wars stuff. Very cool for the Christmas tree. Now for my next project, I decided to print out a Buddha because if you've ever seen any type of Tibetan Buddhist statues, they're very complex and very detailed. There's a lot of fabric folds and there's a lot of ornate jewelry on some of these statues. So I wanted to give this a shot and it looks pretty good. And I used a bronze filament on the CR8 for this one, just like I did on the Millennium Falcon. I really like the way bronze looks. You can also get gold, but look at the details on this model. This actually came out pretty nice. I've already peeled off the bottom layer for the raft and this model is pretty much ready to go. Now my next project, I decided to print my own little space invader. I'm really into Atari games and I thought it would be really cool to print a large size space invader for my shop. I just have to have one of these. So I'm gonna speed up this process for you here, but check out my settings here. Somewhere in my settings, it started to string up quite a bit and my stringing gets worse as it goes on, but I was pretty happy with this model after I cleaned it up and I took all the supports out from inside the middle. This came out pretty nice and I'm pretty happy with this one too. Now what's a 3D printer for but making useful objects and I'm really into making things that are functional. So I have a lot of batteries, rechargeable batteries are in my shop and I use them mostly every day and I've had for a long time a pile of AA batteries just sitting there, energizers, and they're all over the place and I wanted to keep them more organized. So I decided to print this little double a battery holder now you can see there's tons of stringing happening and occurring in this now you can alleviate this in the settings in the printer but then again i'm a new person so it's taking me a little longer to get this right but i decided to use a paint marker to paint the a and the two on the front you also have two mounting points on this which is kind of neat and here it is the finished product i just super glued on the a and the two and now i have a nice cool little battery holder for my batteries and now the project you guys have been waiting for to see in this video, this is the 3D printed model rocket section. And right now I'm printing an ABS and ABS is extremely hard to print for new guys. We have a problem with it warping on the bed and once it gets warped, it's gonna make the entire rocket crooked. So mine started to warp up on the top left right there, you can see that. So I went back to Thingiverse, I downloaded a new model rocket and this one's by Team Rocket. It's a group of high school students that decided to make a rocket for a competition and they launched this on YouTube. It was really, really cool. So I thought this would be perfect for sort of an educational type thing and to show you guys what you can actually do with this 3D printer. This was a lot of fun. So I downloaded the files, set them up inside Simplify 3D and I'm back to the CR8 printing again. And the first layer looks actually pretty good and that's gonna be probably one of your most important layers for the entire build process. If you get a nice thick first layer and you get a nice solid foundation, as the layers rise up, you're gonna get a really nice model and everything is gonna stay on the bed, which is what you want. So now I'm about 94% done there and you can see some stringing again on this this model has a lot of strings, so I'm gonna do a lot of cleanup here, and uh, I'm not super excited about that, but it is gonna be a lot of fun. After I get it cleaned up, you're gonna use a little bit of sandpaper and take this on the bench and sand it down yourself. You'll get it nice and smooth, and once you have it nice and smooth, obviously you can put it together with some super glue. Now that's what I did here. I used a little bit of Pro CA. I used CA glue. Uh, you can also use super glue. It would totally work perfect for fitting these pieces together. Each part of the tube fits together perfectly, which was really nice for this model. Now I have the B6-2 motor here. The stage two is part where it pushes the parachute out the top of the rocket. And I'm pretty excited because I've never done this before. So it's gonna be interesting. And this is the end cap that goes on there to keep the motor from flying out. Now I have the igniter on there. And I'm still learning about the igniters. This is the tube 
where it slides up and down of your launch pad. I have my FPV camera on here and I'm just gonna plug in this battery and now you can see it light up and we're gonna record the video coming off the tail end of the rocket inside my DVR on my FPV goggles. So this is gonna be a really fun project. I have my launch pad, I just got it off amazon.com and I have it all set up. I have my motors from the hobby shop. So I'm pretty excited about how this is gonna go. I'm wondering if this is gonna fly apart or I'm gonna to have to hide behind my car when I launch it. So here we go, guys. Okay, I have no idea if this is gonna work and don't try this at home. Arm switch in the remote. Wish me luck, Steve. Wish me luck, Steve. All right, the arm switch is going in. All right, FPV 3D printed rocket in three, two, one. Cross your fingers, go! Woo! Uh-oh, it's gonna hit the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome! It works! That was awesome. Now wasn't that fun? That was awesome. We 3D printed our own model rocket. I've never actually fired a model rocket before in my life. So that was my first time printing a 3D model rocket and taking it outside, setting it up with the launch pad for the first time ever and actually making it launch and having the onboard camera. It was really exciting and really a lot of fun. So it's amazing what you can do with 3D printers these days. Just use a little bit of imagination. You can come up with your own DIY projects at home, create something new, take it outside and test it for the first time and have fun doing it. So I'm really excited to use my CR8 to come up with something new and exciting for my next video. Please do subscribe on the channel because I'm going to do lots of different interesting 3D projects coming up. We're going to test out some new printers coming up as well. Some more affordable printers and some more high-end printers and also some educational printers for teachers and colleges. And if you're interested to check out the CR8, I'm going to put some links down below so you guys can check those out and some of my suggested filaments for your first 3D prints. Please share this video with your friends if you thought it was exciting and fun, the 3D printed model a rocket. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. I'll see you on the next one. Woo! Uh oh, it's gonna hit the concrete. <laughs> <laughs>